Item 12. My blue uh, metal cube onto the base of an empty rectangular tank. Okay, so they show you this tank here. Yeah. Concern number one, empty. Nothing. But when you put this cube inside, based on what you learn in science, it's a solid. So the solid will take up space, right? So if the solid takes up space here means our capacity of the tank in terms of the volume remaining, you have to actually deduct this away because it takes up the space. Understand? Okay? Then, might turn on uh, the tap to fill the tank with water. So we have the tap here that's going to turn on and blah blah blah, it will go in. Okay? This tap float at a rate of 5.587 liters per minute. Keyword there, liters. Every one minute is that 5.587 liters. But if you look at all our measurements here, CM, right? Okay? CM, if you multiply them together for volume, you will only get CM cube, right? So the measurement unit is not the same. We will always try to deal with measurement units that are the same. So, can we convert this 5.587 liters to CM cube? One liter, how many CM cube? 1,000, right? So it's 1,000, we just multiply by 1,000. So this one here is actually 5,587 cm cube per minute. Okay? Next part, 8 minutes to fill the tank to its brim. To its brim means the whole thing will be filled up, right? But this whole thing here, remember, is it the length graph height multiplied together? No, no. No. It's the length graph height multiplied together, but without this, take away the space for this, right? Okay? So with the better cube being completely submerged, okay? And you're supposed to find the side of the metal cube. So basically, cube means all sides are equal. The vol you need the volume first before you can do what we call the cube root. Alright, so you need volume. So our first thing here is the capacity of the tank. Alright, so our length, breadth, height, capacity is the maximum of the tank. So length, breadth, height, we multiply them together.
Yeah, for this calculator, you press shift then press the square root. What? Square root is that thing. Wait, I'll show you all the sign. What you should be getting, right, is something like this. We call this the cube root. This is the square root. Can you find this button on your calculator? Yes. But if you press shift and you press the same button, you will see that it becomes this. Correct? For that calculator, for this calculator is different. For this calculator, oh, it's the same shift and this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, 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 wait. Yeah. You press shift and you press this. You want to find out or You press, you press clear first, that. You, wait. You want to go bracket or this one? It doesn't matter because you have that bracket created. Yeah. So, when you press the shift and this button, right? I mean shift and the square root button you get here, right? You get this, correct? Then they have this box there or whatever. You put in 1,000. After you press the one, then you key in the 1,000. Okay? Key in 1,000 already? Then you press the equal thing. What do you see there? 10. So, the answer is actually a 10. If you want to check your answer actually, right, okay, you take 10 times 10 times 10, do you come back to 1,000? Yes. yes, that means the side, the length breadth height of the cube is 10, right? So, this cube root thing, just take note how you can use it during paper 2. Okay, answer 10 cm for the side of the cube.